Welcome to Parish and Community. This is Janae Davis. She is the Communications Development Specialist for the uh, Outreach Program, our ID and Birth Certificate Program for our Outreach Ministry. Hi, Janae. Hi, Angela. How are you? I am well. Thanks for being here. Tell me how you first got involved uh, with our Outreach Program. So I am a recent grad from SLU. So, you know, just trying to find my next opportunity um, post-grad. My friend, I was actually friends with um, the previous, uh, pre sorry, previous uh, AmeriCorps Vista. Her name was Sheltoria. Um, and she was basically just telling me about um, the position and the work that the outreach program does. Um, and so also about AmeriCorps. So I was just looking into you know, um, both AmeriCorps and the outreach program, and I thought it would be a good fit. So I thought I should just go ahead and apply. We're glad you did. So so what are some of the tasks that uh, are on your plate as a regular basis? So I, as the communications development specialist, I update and maintain um, the outreach program, social media outlets and their website, um, setting up appointments with guests, uh, creating thank you letters for donors, having uh, creating like internal and external communications with our targeted audiences, which would be volunteers, financial supporters, um, and guests. So um, yeah, creating flyers, e-newsletters, bulletins, all the communication from the outreach program, I have a hand in it. Did you have a sense of what to expect before you started? Did Sheltoria give you a, a little uh, insight about that or has um, anything? Yeah, go ahead. A little insight. Um, I knew that I was going to be overseeing the external and the internal communications, but I guess I really did not know what all that entailed. Um, I wouldn't say that um, anything has surprised me about my tasks or duties, um, but just definitely enlightened on like how much I was learning and um, about the procedures and the policies within the program. What fills your time when you're not here as part of the outreach program? So I love to cook. So when I have a spare moment, um, I do like to, you know, try out new recipes. Um, I also am active with my sorority, Delta Sigma Theta. Um, and I, other than that, loving to just be with friends and family and binge on TV shows. <laughs> okay. Now, your job, a lot of what your job is about is helping people understand the work of outreach and getting IDs and birth certificates for our clients. What what do you most want to communicate to folks who may not really have an understanding of that? So I would like people to understand that the work is never done. Mm -hmm. um, we provide um, a great, you know, we provide services to fulfill a great need in the St. Louis community, even outside of the St. Louis community. I've seen people you know, come from um, more like Southern Illinois, come to our program just because we are the only program um, mm -hmm. in the area that does, that provides this kind of service. Um, so yeah, the work is never done. It's more than just our uh, program that's held on Tuesdays. It's um, more so with our outreach uh, director of social ministry and the outreach coordinator. They are the ones that are putting in the time, resources, um, giving a lot, you know, it's, it takes a lot of social advocacy and networking to be able to, um, to partner with the community in order to make, you know, our program happen. So it's a lot of behind the scenes work that takes, you know, for us to be able to support the community. Sure, yeah, yeah, it's an amazing amount of work that everyone there is doing and we're so appreciative for all of, all of your efforts there. Mm -hmm. Did you have any connections to Catholic organizations before you came to outreach? Well, you you said you went to SLU, so you had that that connection. But it's it strikes me that you know the fact that this is a, a church uh, ministry sheds an interesting light on on the program. What what strikes you about the the church side of this work? Um, I would say definitely being able to incorporate the values that the college church has, um, and you know, it shows in our work and, you know, the care that we take and 
the lengths, you know, that we go to be able to, you know, fill out this mission um, and these values to be able to, you know, help others. Um, yeah, like you, like you've mentioned about me, I am a SLU student, or uh, uh, just graduated SLU student, um, where, you know, Jesuit values were very important in not only, you know, our curriculum, but also um, service, you know, that we do um, on campus. Janae, thank you for your time today. I really appreciate you taking taking a moment to help us understand the, the inside view of it from, from your perspective. Thank you for having me.